Just a few weeks ago, the Senegalese president was in Ankara. Macky Sall is also chairman of the African Union, a huge political and economic trading bloc representing 55 countries. Now it wants to join the G20, the organization representing the biggest economies in the world. And Turkey has given the AU its backing. I asked for Mr. Erdogan's support for the African Union's membership in the G20 so that we can be a part of the G20 as a full member. We know that you care about a more inclusive and fair plurality. Now Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu is trying to strengthen ties further with a five-country tour of the continent. On the itinerary are Zimbabwe, Gabon and Rwanda, all countries where Turkey has opened new embassies in the past 12 years. Also, the small island state of Sao Tome and Principe, where there is currently no Turkish embassy, and South Africa, the second largest economy on the continent. The Turkish president visited there in 2018, keen to make up on lost time. Turkey only established full diplomatic relations with South Africa in the 1990s, after the fall of apartheid. When the current Turkish government came to power in 2002, there were just 12 Turkish embassies in Africa. At the end of last year, there were 44. In 2003, trade between the two was worth $5.4 billion. But by the end of last year, it was expected to have reached $45 billion. The valid question is how come Turkey has improved her relations in a short span of time? Actually, the answer is very simple. We do not have any historical baggage. We do not have any uh, colonialism in our uh, past. Uh, and we always observe African solutions to African uh, problems in our policy towards Africa. 18 months ago, Zimbabwe officially opened an embassy in the Turkish capital, Ankara, taking the number of African states with embassies here to 38. That means there are still another 16 to go and the plan is to keep increasing their number. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World.